welcome to Clarity Design and uh, today we're just going to have a little look at Maya 2013 and in particular I'm looking at extrusions and split polygon. Um, previously uh, I've done a tutorial for 2011 which um, shows these skills um, and I just need to update it because they've made some changes in 2013. So let's have a quick look at uh, what we've got. So the first thing you'll notice if you go to the edit mesh menu which is where the extrude tool is and other tools um, you'll find that there's a few extras in here that weren't here before um, and it might start to uh, just confuse you a little bit as to, um, as to uh, where you are. So firstly the interactive split tool is exactly what it used to be um, which is the split polygon tool. Um, so it, it used to split faces, works exactly the same way if I select the polygon there and go to split polygon tool, so interactive split tool, sorry, um, I click here click at the bottom, it's uh, making some guesswork for me and I press enter and it splits the polygon just as it uh, used to work so it works in exactly the same way, no problem at all, um, just looks slightly different so don't lose that, it's also on your uh, shelf here uh, should you wish to need it there but um, yeah don't lose that because that was the first thing that foxed me when I, uh, when I opened it up, I thought why have they renamed it but there you go. Um, secondly uh, you've got these two things here, this project curve on mesh and split uh, mesh with projected curve. Now they're actually pretty useful. Um, it's tools that used to be used with um, surfaces that has now come across and able to be used with polygons, so that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so let's have a look how uh, these tools uh, can be used. So what I've got here is I've got a curve which I've drawn using the uh, Create Nerves Primitive Circle and I've got a surface here um, which I'm going to project it onto. So it's as if the light is passing through and it's, uh, it's casting a shadow of the circle onto the object so whichever angle I uh, pick uh, to view it from, so I'm pressing Alt and the left key to rotate that, um, that's how it will project onto the surface. So if I have it on this angle here and I go to uh, project curve onto mesh, oh sorry I have to have the mesh selected as well, um, project curve onto mesh, you can see that that projects through on the angle um, that I had my camera on. So to avoid that happening or to get it more accurate than that we can just go to our four views and we can just use this side view to then um, make sure that's selected and then uh, go to project curve onto mesh and you'll find that that projects nice and evenly through the mesh. Now once you've got that that's all well and good it might be useful for all sorts of reasons um, um, like for example if you wanted to get a motion curve uh, a motion path and you wanted to put it onto a surface so that a, an object or a bug walked across the surface or whatever, um, you could do that. Um, in this case I want to use it to generate a division in the surface, a hole in the centre of the surface, particularly difficult to do before this, um, and particularly a, a circle like this, onto a surface like this, I might have to use a boolean, uh, but in this case I don't need to anymore, so I just select uh, the surfaces and the uh, and the new projected curves on the surfaces and in this case I'm going to go up and go to split mesh with polygon curve and I click on that it's, you know it's had an action because there's no red warning or anything um, but it doesn't look like it's done very much uh, until you select it again and then you can see that actually what it's done it's divided the face in two here with triangles and it's put uh, this circle with lots of divisions in it uh, so if I go to vertex you can see how many points there are to make that circle uh, to make that face up in the middle there. Um, so uh, if I select that face I can do an extrusion from that which brings me on to the last point which is the extrude tool has just changed ever so slightly. Um, you now have a thickness offset and division um, options here. Now before we used to just uh, pull that in and out which moved the pivot point of that face in from the surface here um, in, inside the, uh, the object which might not be the most useful thing. Um, might be fine. Uh, we can use thickness also to control this extrusion now which gives us a nice interactive way. Now what I'm doing is I'm left clicking, I'm dragging it uh, side to side, dragging the mouse side to side to do that. Uh, in the same way we've got offset and I'm just click on the word left click and then drag it side to side and I've got an interactive way of changing um, the divisions. Oh, I just missed that one with divisions. And again, missed it again, let's just try that one more time. There we go, um, and we can change the number of divisions, sorry about that. Um, and that pretty much rounds it up, so just a few changes that um, could fox you the first time you look at it, um, but actually they're no different at all, really just a couple of little added extras to play around with. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope it's been useful.